How do I look? Oh. Dang. I am looking great! Woo! Alright guys, what's up? So today is Sunday, I'm here at FSY and well, not a lot is going on at the first part of the day. We, I have breakfast, um, actually right now, um, but it's okay, I can run a little late. Um, then I got church and I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to go to church. I had a girl in my group said that like her church started at noon and I asked her what like the ratio of male and females are. And she said that there's a lot more girls than guys. So, big thumbs up to her. However, it is at 12.30. And I kind of want to take a nap during that time. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We might go. We might go. I don't know. But we, I have a meeting. I have dinner at 4 o'clock. And then I have training the rest of the day, I think, until... Nine o'clock? We'll uh, get the show on the road. I just got back from church. No, I did not go to church with my friend whose ward started at 1230. It's currently right now noon, and um, I, I, I could not wait that long. Maybe next week, maybe next week. I wanted to show you guys some things that I got as an, I got as an assistant coordinator. This is the FSY bag, as you can see. It's pretty cool, not bad. I like it, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. That's all I can say about it. <laughs> the FSY t-shirts, they come in navy, green, and baby blue. Honestly, these t-shirts are actually pretty cool. I, I really do like them. Like, not bad. Pretty good. Except they, they kind of look small on me, but it's okay. We're pretty fuck. <laughs> I got my lanyard. And I also have on my lanyard, there's my room key and a cougar card that allows me to get into my apartment and also to get lunch, dinner, and breakfast because I got to eat somehow. And the last thing I wanted to show you was, bam, I got the handbook for the FSY. And this handbook, it pretty much just has all the rules um, and assignments that all of us coordinators, assistant coordinators, uh, health coordinators, counselors will be doing with the youth and our obligations with them. They also have like lessons that we're gonna teach them and games that we'll play with them on game night. And it's actually pretty cool. I think it's really awesome. They also have a picture of Jesus Christ right here. Jesus Christ is the man. But yeah, I think the rest of the day, I'm going to study up this, this handbook right here. And I'm just gonna understand the lessons a little more. I just, I just wanna be prepared a little more with this upcoming FSY this summer. <laughs> Today is actually a really beautiful day. Man. Getting that vitamin D. <laughs> okay. I'm heading over to dinner, and afterwards we have a devotional with President Stephen Lunn, who is the young men's president, young men's president for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. It was actually kind of funny because he came to BYU Idaho in one of my religion classes, and he, his pitch for um, getting the students to come to BYU, to come to FSY was he compared it to summer cells. And what he said to me that stood out was, he said, would you rather kill bugs for the whole summer or save souls? You decide. Anyways, I was already like, I already signed up for FSY before he came to my religion class. I just thought that was funny. And then later, after that, we have a training about mental health. And we have a training about working with the counselors and the training about the music program duty. And we're gonna learn more about that later on, but that's pretty much what we're going with right now. So let's get some dinner, cause I am starving.
Is it recording? Yeah. Okay. President Leon. Graydon. Yes. That's right. That's my name. Did you oh think I was reading that off your badge? <laughs> no. Maybe. I don't know. Come on. We're thick. I was we like, I didn't it. know you knew me. Okay. <laughs> what is something you're really expecting? Graydon. Okay, go ahead. Okay. What is something that you're expecting the youth to learn for FSY this summer? Well, what we hope the most that they learn, if they don't learn anything else, is that there's a God in heaven who loves them. All right, that's a great answer. Thank you so very much. Okay. Are there any fun things you want to tell us about you? Um, um, yeah, I'm Graydon's friend. That's my claim to fame. And Graydon is going to actually deliver on that promise. It's going to help these kids discover who they are. I will, absolutely. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, now we are headed to here President Lunt. Give us a little training. No idea what this training is going to be about, probably just about FSY. He did ask my group what he should talk about, so that was pretty cool. But I am stoked. It is going to be fun and exciting. So right now, I am trying to find my group. I have no idea where they are. They said we were eating popcorn, and I'm kind of sad because I have no idea where this BYU conference is. People have called me, told me where to go. Wow, so I still don't know where to go. But <laughs> I don't want popcorn. <laughs> I don't want my popcorn. I need a snack. I don't know where to go. Okay, I found the place. Now I'm just trying to look for my group. I have no idea where they are. Oh, I found them, found them. Never mind. <laughs> the meeting with President Lund was really awesome. The music program was awesome. Everything about this meeting was awesome. I am speechless. Don't just take my word from it. Take it from some of the count assisting coordinators and coordinators that I've talked to. President Lund just came and spoke to us about uh, the youth and about kind of our role. And I think the biggest takeaway I got from that was that these youth were destined for this time, but we were destined to be mentors for them and to help them. One of my favorite things that he talked about was he spoke about how this experience that we all get to have in FSY, it's really an immersion of the spirit. And so ultimately our goal is that all of us as counselors, coordinators, and most importantly the youth have this experience, we recognize the spirit, and then we get to go home and we get to not change a thing is what his quote was. So that we are able to just carry that spirit that we have in FSY um, and having this experience with the Lord and with the Spirit on into our regular lives and we don't we don't like go back to being the way that we were before but we let that change um, with the Spirit be lasting and important to us. Um, the singing was passable. Uh, I'm excited for the youth because that'll be a great opportunity for them. Hey thank you guys so very much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and we'll talk to you guys next time.